Hi everyone, welcome to Prefer Tarot. Well, I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to get into a reading for the sign of Gemini. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you guys would like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is down below. Let's get into this reading. What messages do you have for the sign of Gemini's? Happy birthday, Gemini's. We have the King of Cups and the Four of Swords. So um, someone may be contemplating, thinking about a person that you um, have feelings for. Someone may be thinking about you. Um, some of you guys are taking a break, going on vacation. The hanging man. I feel like if you go on vacation, you're going to receive some type of enlightenment. Forget if you go on vacation. Whether you go on vacation or not, someone is going. you're going to receive some type of enlightenment about maybe doing something that you love, having compassion towards another person. We have the nine of wands and we also have the king of swords. So um, not giving up. The King of Swords making a decision, having some knowledge about something. The Five of Wands here at the bottom of the deck. Um, fight, competition, not necessarily a fight, but competition, battle, being a warrior. The Empress underneath that. Um, it may be some people fighting for your attention. You may be, someone may be taking a break on one person and not really wanting to give up on another person let me see more messages here the moon card facing some fears the ace of wands love of oneself doing something out of love a new beginning in love and then we have the queen of pentacles so we have the six of swords at the bottom of the deck ready to move on Closing out, okay. Yeah, someone may be letting go of a relationship with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy, Gemini. Um, you've been thinking about this for a while. Someone has been thinking about, oh. Okay, someone may have been involved in a third party connection. Tired of that, ready to let go of it. And I feel like now you're ready to move on. Um, maybe you're, you are another person. This is, this is not giving up. Um, on your better judgment not going against your better judgment excuse me so you knew that you have to do what's right you know you knew that you had to put your feelings aside you had to be emotionally strong in order to make something happen in order to move on facing your fears and acknowledging self after a time of i guess um acknowledging someone else's feelings and emotions before yours or just being neglected, period. And now you're focusing on yourself. The Queen of Pentacles here. You're focusing on yourself and doing what you have to do, maybe for children, um, um, people around you. Let me get some clarifiers. What's the King of Cups? The Two of Swords. The Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Someone doesn't see something coming. They don't... Okay. They okay, either someone doesn't see you coming or someone doesn't see you leaving. The four of wands. You remember I said something about competition or something the battle battle warrior. All right. Um what I was getting there is that someone created created a foundation, created something, and you're wondering if you should let it go. It's like someone wondering if they should let go of their independence because you've been free and you're wondering if you should let go of your freedom. Not let you know, not really saying that you're going to be uh, incarcerated or something like that, but you're going to be tied up. What's the four, four swords? The emperor. And being tied up, I guess, because you're going to have to do more letting go of one situation, of course. And then with the Emperor card on top of the Four of Swords, the Four of Wands. Hold on. It's like the boss took a break. You've been doing a lot of work. Okay. So it's like if you you if you run the company and then you say, you say, well, I'm taking a vacation. And people don't see that coming because I guess you're the type of person who don't usually take a vacation. The Five of Wands here at the bottom of the deck and the Emperor at the higher fin. Um, it's challenging, I guess, to take a break, but you're being called to do so. Um, 
No, what this is, is the five of wands towards the um, empress. There may have been some type of battle with a spouse, person of interest. Um, someone decided to take a break. On, yeah, on some type of commitment. Let me move on. What's the nine of wands? The judgment card. You don't want to give up. Not giving up. Not going against. That's going back to go, not going against uh, your better judgment. Maybe at one point you did. The Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. The Seven of Swords. Someone it may be trying to get away with. Uh, I heard money, money laundering. Whatever. What's the King of Swords? Someone's making a decision to not let go. The Queen of Wands, the Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. It's like someone is waiting for... It's like someone is waiting for the cops to come in at any moment. Not on you or on another person. It's like you know... I already said. Someone doesn't know what's coming. They don't see you coming. They don't see something coming. They don't see you leaving. I don't know. Someone doesn't see this happening. But definitely something is being manifested. And it's almost as if, like, do nothing. You're going to be good. Just do nothing. You're going to be straight. <laughs> um, what's the moon card? The five of wands. So, the fear is has something to do with the fight the competition the battle other people being being involved in the situation the page of cups okay this can go a lot of ways i guess the situation can go a lot of ways there's a, a plenty of different um options different ways you can go about the situation i already said that something is going to take off hold on a lot of things are coming right now gemini it's like you know a connection is going to take off, a choice that you made, something is going to take off. Um, I just want to move on though. Even though there was a lot of fear, even though there was a lot of chatter about fear, chatter about fear, that's what that is. What's the Ace of Cups? The Lover's card, there you are. You made the right choice for yourself, everyone involved. Clear intentions, the Page of Wands here at the bottom of the deck. So someone had clear intentions. Um, there was off there was there was an offer to help or you're offering to help to hold on to something that you've built to hold on to something that they've built something like that um but yet you're moving on from something that you get you feel like it was time to let go what's the queen of pentacles you know what i'm talking about i guess <laughs> what's the queen of pentacles the seven of cups working at it but it's plenty of ways to get to it Okay. Um what you see the you're being watched works, you're watching someone work. It's it's like you're just waiting for the perfect time, the perfect opportunity to just jump right in and then whoo success. Uh what's the emperor card? What's the emperor? This is a good look, Gemini, for some reason. If that's what I feel. We have the Three of Pentacles, and then we have the Page of Wands, all both to the side. And then we have the Knight of Wands. So you take taking a risk. Taking a risk to close a chapter. To close a chapter. Something that has been a, a long time coming, but a sudden shift happens. With this Three of Pentacles and this, five, this Page of Wands on top of this Emperor card, is you've built something, you've worked on something um you've helped someone someone helped you out but all you have to do now is just rest just wait it out something like that what's the judgment card it's like almost the best decision that you've made was to just take a break move on whatever it is that you've done because look the decision is you being successful for walking away i just said all that i just said all of that Yes, the best decision you made was to walk away. 
to let something just to just happen. It's like leaving the we just gonna say leaving a no good person that you've been dealing with all this time and them thinking that they could go find something better than you and you've been 100 percent great to them and then after you leave they looking like what well, damn that was great yeah i told you right moving on what's the lover's card <laughs> what's the lover's card Ooh, okay so we have the seven of wands that popped out over there creating boundaries you said no said no nah, this not gonna go down this way the eight of swords you were in your head or other people were in their head you were in your head maybe oh right watching it happen some people don't see it coming the lies and deception someone i said something about maybe money laundering or something like that people doing something they have, they don't have any business doing trying to get away with something maybe you were in your head about if they were going to get away with it or if this was just going to go down like this I don't think so. I don't think so. Change comes in. You, I feel like someone's going to be celebrating. But here with the Seven of Wands, you created boundaries towards something. But I want to clarify that and we're going to move on. What's the Seven of Wands? The Six of Pentacles. This is like... Yeah, giving in to energies and people that do not appreciate you. You pulling back, you creating the boundaries towards it, you uh, just making a decision to focus on yourself or whatever you have going on, and look at you now. Peaceful. You good. And they miss you. They miss your abundance. Your vibrancy. What else do you have for the sign of Gemini? Gemini. Okay, we have not for you in reverse, and then we also have mending. Right, it, don't do anything. Don't do anything, I feel here, because something is not for you. Um, What's for you is for you. I feel like someone may have been holding on to a situation that they knew well that's not for them. And now they looking salty. Missing out. Wanted to amend a situation that is pretty much unmendable. And then we have to the seat in reverse. Going with the flow. Um, that's just allowing things to happen. Taking a nap right behind it. So um, maybe someone was going against the flow or whatever. Trying to fight the currents or whatnot. Damn, they're drowning. But um, nah. No. No, 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 no. It's plenty of ways to get to success. But like you have plenty of options moving forward here. It's about you taking a break. Taking take, taking that time. Away from whatever's going on. I don't know. They they miss you when you're gone. But I'm leaving this here. Gemini, that was your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments. If it resonated, how it resonated, leave it like, share. It's all of that good stuff. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.